Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. This video I'm going to be filming the, um, I'm going to be doing another flip through. This is the six month flip through, first half of 2022 in my social media planner. This is my dashboard planner. This is as close as you get to a work planner for me at this point in my life. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I have my archive here, which has the rest of the year unused as well as the um, used portion. When I do my setup, I have a transformer planner. I have three different planners, three months of three different planners in here. Um, I will link a transformer setup video in the cards up above, but um, I'm currently set up for July, which means June, my sixth month, is still in here. So we'll need both of these. But um, let's go ahead and get started. I will also link in the cards up above how I make and create and use make and create are the same thing, but how I make my archives and, and why I make them and what I use them for. So um, I will I will try again to remember to link that in the cards up above as well. So this is just a placemat. Um, so let's get into this. So I keep all the pages that I frank and planned out throughout the year. I keep all those in here. And then here we go. My, my name page is in my planner at the beginning of my social media section. So this just starts us right at January. So here is my monthly view. I love wintry stuff for January. So basically I color code this with highlighters. These match the swishies that are on um, my YouTube video thumbnails. Um, and then this is what video is posting what day. So when you, ha you all have a special request and I decide, yes, I'm gonna do that. And I say, I need to find a hole in my schedule. That's because I only have Tuesdays and Wednesdays or Mondays and Tuesdays where I don't have a video already slated to um, go. Here is my challenge tracker page. So, uh, and I have a video on how I make this. Just check out my YouTube channel. Most of these are monthly, so they're gonna have the gray swishy. So here's my first week. Use a piece of scrapbook paper over here and then something new. I use these rub on transfer sticker things. And even though this was a piece of scrapbook paper that wasn't white, um, the transfer was bold enough to still show up. So love, you'll see lots of snow and winter um, in January. I'm a little bit of a seasonal planner. So got my girl boss Anna overlay tapes. This is the planner where I use them the most. So, um, and I am a, a rep through the end of the year. So there is a link in my description box where you can um, sign up or you can, yeah, you can go to her site using my link um, or you can use my code Judy10 at checkout for 10% off. So this was a Planners Anonymous kit, the Huga Life. Love the pink and green. Here is another winter spread, more scrapbook paper and lots of snowy colors. These were are a little more on the aqua side. Another piece of scrapbook paper. So this planner is my thickest because this is where I do the most with scrapbook paper. I love to use scrapbook paper on the left hand side and just do my writing right on top of it. So, and then coordinating this side, a little sparkly washi there. And that was it. So here is February. I always decorate my goals pages. I kind of have been slacking and not filling them out as much. Um, I, I should, <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I've been retired for two and a half years and it has taken me this long to finally get to a point where I'm starting to slack on stuff. So I don't know. I never dreamed it would take me that long to forget what day of the week it is and that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I guess you work the majority of your life and it's hard to get out of that. So anyway, here's February. So lots of pink, but still kind of wintry. I've got my snowy village up here. Here are my, my challenge tracker pages. And again, there's a video on how I set all of this stuff up. There's a plan with me video for every single spread. So I've been doing this for a long time now and all, we're well into the portion where there's a a video for everything. This was my um, uh, Chinese Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year spread, which is the year of the tiger. So love it. You know me, cat lady. So I had, I loved this one. I got my tiger sticker there. And then here was a fun little blackout spread I did. These are the little tiny planners anonymous stickers. If you watched my unboxing of mermaid shores yesterday, this was the box I was talking about where those are the perfect fit for right there. So they've got, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but they've got the first three letters of each day of the week in there. They're the perfect fit for there. 
So if you were to want to rearrange this page, maybe put this miscellaneous box down here and start your Monday here, these stickers are perfect for that. And there are several sets in the sticker book. Here's another. So I didn't set out to do this as a blackout, but I didn't want to waste the back side of this page. So this is a half blackout spread, which is also a fun, fun, fun thing to do. So if you don't want to Franken plan every single page in, this is a good way to do it. Half blackout spreads. Then this was a, um, let's see. So this was pet day. Um, and this was a collaboration I did with Lori Dean Plan. So if you haven't checked out her channel, check her out. She's a Canadian planner. Um, but these are my boys. There's Jasper and Calcifer. And I have these fun little kitty cat stickers. There's Jasper. I got these at Dollar Tree a long time ago. And Calcifer, all spelled out in cats. Super fun. I had never used those stickers. And I made it work on this spread. So, fun one anything to do with my boys and I get super enthusiastic so and then there's um, my goals page matching March here's my March monthly so I've got some happy planner stickers on here I do use them I have tons of them I need to use them at some point of course and all the month's videos here is my challenge tracker page so March of course needs to be green And then here we go. So this was a Planners Anonymous kit. This is the uh, Wild and Free kit, I think it was called. I don't remember. Um, but Or maybe it was the Fierce kit. It might have been called Fierce. But again, I have a half black out here. So just this side is black and this side is white. But you can do things to make it still feel cohesive. And then here, oh, this was when the war in Ukraine broke out. And so I went, I did a whole video and I will link it in the cards up above on how to narrow your search on Etsy for digital downloads where the creators are in Ukraine. And so this was, uh, this was one of those downloads. I printed this right on the Happy Planner page. So this was a total experiment because I didn't know how a, a pre-punched page would would go through my printer if these would catch and it would just get ripped to shreds or what and I printed several different times on several different pages all of them pre-punched and it did just fine so if you're curious about printing on your page go for it it works great this was a planners anonymous kit um, I believe this one was called planner love um, but lots of <clears throat> soft colors in this one super pretty here we have another piece of scrapbook paper for March, just a nice spring floral page with a bird. Simply lovely sticker book there. Here was more Planners Anonymous. This was the Book Lover 2.0 kit. Um, love it. I loved this was, oh my gosh, I wanted to do this somehow every single week. So the way I integrated my, um, habit trackers right into this piece. This is actually the vellum, so the slightly see-through. You can kind of see the lines through there. Um, and then integrating these the, the three habit trackers onto the three books. That was so fun. I, I was so addicted to that for a while. And I still do it whenever I can. All right, so here's my goals page set up to match or coordinate with my April monthly divider. Here's April, so April showers. I've got this washi tape that looks like rain clouds with the raindrops falling down. Rainy day. So this is April showers and then May will be May flowers. Here is the challenge tracker. Again, that same washi. And then this is the rainy days kit washi from Planners Anonymous. Got lots of Girl Boss Anna overlay tapes, love those. Here's more of the book lovers kit. So the other one was all about the succulents. This one's all about the books and like these little keys that always remind me of the ha Harry Potter movie where they're um, they're having to go past the keys, the little flying keys. I <laughs> love those. Again, another Planners Anonymous piece of scrapbook paper. This one's got the the bunnies. So this was country. 
Country Cottage, I think, but it's got the bunnies, so this was fun for Easter. Kind of an Easter-y theme with all the bunnies. Bunny Kisses Easter Wishes. Somebody loves you. <laughs> and then here was the, this one I was trying to do like Earth Day or um, the bees. And here, oh, this, I, I wrote on this. This is why I like to use the erasable friction pens because I changed my mind on the themes. And so I had to use whiteout. And of course, the whiteout on the green colored paper doesn't work the greatest, but that's okay. You know, it it is what it is. And I still really love this spread and I'm glad I did it. So, and then here's one with another piece of scrap of paper. This one's just got the paint splashes and then the big heavy super black, heavy black quote from um, uh, Amber Plans Her Day. And this one I just really had fun putting the black. I just used a stencil to draw my Habit trackers right onto the page. So this one was all about the black overlaying of the color. And that's the end of April. That brings us to May. April showers bring May flowers and my coordinating page. Here's the May. So I used, I had the Sage sticker book I hadn't used yet. So I used the new Sage sticker book here. These are just little post-it notes covering up my income. In case you're wondering why those aren't, those are just there for filming. Um, here is our May. So lots of pink and green again. So I have a year's worth of these little monthly calendar stickers that I'm using on these challenge checker pages and I end up coordinating my color scheme here to match those stickers. So a little spring color vibe there. And then here was a printable. So this is a full page that I printed from one of the digital downloads from the Rainy Days kit from Planners Anonymous. So just planning in the rain. And of course, matching like my girl boss, Anna, washi, these are the washi overlays, the washi, yeah, washi overlays, not the ones that are like printed on scotch tape. So these are like made out of washi type material, so you can write right on them. And then here was a bumblebee spread. This was a scrap of paper pad I got, and I kind of strategically placed things so that as many of the bumblebees that were printed on the page of scrap of paper would show as possible. Here was an oceany kind of under the sea kind of a spread. So my washi tape runs back under this brown piece of scrapbook paper. So it kind of looks like a cross section of the coast and the sea. And then I got my favorite die cut washi from Daiso that looks like the storm clouds. I love using those on my nautical spreads. Here's another one. I've been, I tell you what, since the spring and we took a road trip down to the Oregon coast, my favorite place to go, I have been so into like the nautical ocean vibes. The beaches here in the Pacific Northwest are super rocky. They're not hot like tropical beaches, which is perfectly fine with me. I'd much rather be too cold than too hot. So I love going to the cold, rocky, um, nautical feeling beaches as opposed to like the tropical sandy Caribbean beaches. And then that is my June page. So here is my working planner. Um, I, my, again, Transformer, this is the beginning of my social media pay section. There's my name page. So here is June. This was January, so here's June. So that page was meant to coordinate with this one. And then here's my June monthly view. So I used the planning thing. Um, Tropical Beach sticker book for this one. Here is my challenge tracker page. So again, just trying to match to my little calendar sticker. And then here was a wine spread. I think we were on a trip, maybe wine tasting or I forget. I forget why that was my, let's see. Wine and cheese, maybe HPFB group challenge. The subject was wine and cheese. So there you go. There's a, this is the Planners Anonymous Vineyard Kit. And so again here, I integrated the my three habit trackers that I put on these spreads into the label of the wine bottle. Super cute. I love that. Here was a coastal, again, another coast beach spread. This is a piece of scrapbook paper. And um, it's just a pathway along the coast. Again, tried to kind of sort of integrate my habit trackers onto the path there. 
And then this was one of the first times I put that extra strip of scrapbook paper where I cut it off there, cut the scene off. I cut another little bit and stuck it on this side, which is a great trick, by the way, if you get a rip or, you know, your page, the holes in your page are just worn out from being moved a lot. Um, you can reinforce the punches with, with scrapbook paper or washi tape, lots of different ways to do that. Here was another one. This was um, a Planners Anonymous. This was more of the Country Cottage Kit. So that page um, a couple minutes ago of the flip through that had the brown bunnies. This is that same kit, believe it or not. And here I did, so this is a piece of scrap of, of the scrapbook paper. And I just cut open the window and there are my habit trackers right inside there, my little peekaboo. So just so fun, so cute. I love doing little things like that. Green and blue, my favorite color combo. And then here was another uh, paint splat. This is again a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, here is an extra strip again that I cut off and just carried over onto this side to help bring the two pages together. Lots of rainbow girl boss Anna washi tape, or overlay tape, so pretty. And then here is my upside down spread. Oh my gosh, we finally, my sisters and I worked and worked and worked on my mom and dad and they are finally giving um, Stranger Things a try and they are so, so addicted. So we, we watched this, like the, the, this weekend that it came out, 4th of July weekend, we watched it. We're totally caught up. I want more. I want to watch it again. We're looking for a new series to binge. We actually aren't. We're going back and watching all of um, The Good Wife all the way into The Good Fight now. So, which I watched The Good Wife um, back when it came out. My husband didn't. He likes The Good Fight. And so I said, well, let's maybe you like The Good Wife as well. And he loves it. We watched three episodes last night. So we're into that now. Um, but here is my upside down spread. So you can see everything's kind of mirror imaged. I've got the dark down here and then the mirror image, the light up here. So my upside down spread. I started doing these when the first season came out. I've been doing these for a long time. Love my upside down spreads. And then there is my goals page that is um, again made to match with this page. So there we go. There's my six month flip through of my social media planner. I think what I'm going to start doing now is um, as part of my monthly cycle um, in my planners and in my videos is I'm going to start going ahead and just flipping through the previous month um, midway through my next month. So once we get finished with July and I get all of that taping and I get my August move in and everything all done, then what I can do is go through all of my planners. I'll even do horizontal and hand lettering. Um, I'm going to just, just do a full monthly flip through about midway through the next month so that um, you don't have to wait six months or a year to see these. I think it's fun to reminisce. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.